going on, people? This your man is Fresh Bless. You know what it is, man. And I'm back with another video. So today's video, man, you know, it's been a minute. So y'all go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. You know how to do all that good stuff. You know, go on the website, purchase the merchandise, purchase everything that you can, everything that you feel led to, you know, by the Spirit of the Lord. You dig what I'm saying? But I want to get into this one quick today because I was just brainstorming, you know, and, um, you know, I want to talk about the legal side of life and the lawful side of life, you know, which will be more so the spiritual side of the law. You dig what I'm saying? Because if it's if if, if I'm tripping, you know what I'm saying, y'all leave some comments or something, you know, hit me in the inbox, email me or something, let me know. And, and let me know, like, basically how you view the situation. But as I'm brainstorming, it come to me and it's like, damn, we always out here, we complaining about black people getting killed and shit like that. But we never... I ain't gonna say we never take into account, you know what I'm saying, because we be so uh, devastated of the situations that happened already, you know, traumatic situations that happened, that we, you know, it's just like, why would we pay attention to their side? Why would we pay attention to how they viewing it if they steady killing us? You dig what I'm saying? It's just on some retaliation type shit, but anybody who wise, you know, anybody who has an understanding knows that it takes a party two parties to, in order for a situation to be resolved if it's about communication you dig you know what i'm saying so it's about communication and you have to be willing to really uh see it from their perspective be able to communicate on that level even if it's not talking to them verbally communicating with yourself you know on that level seeing it from a different perspective a lot of people call it a bird's eye view you dig you know what i'm saying so I'm sitting over here and then that bird's eye view type of perspective just came to me and it's just like, okay, yeah, we get killed a lot in the streets, but these people, they already know the job that they doing is super dangerous. You dig what I'm saying? Because whether they know it consciously or unconsciously, the laws is not set up, you know, in our favor. They know it's set up to make us slaves. It's set up to kill us off and do the shit that it's doing. So why would they feel comfortable up under something that a foundation is, is faulty, you see what I'm saying? It's a false foundation that was, it, it, it is perceived to be something that is totally not. You dig what I'm saying? You can't be comfortable up under a structure like that because you know it's bound to fall at some point. You dig what I'm saying? So that's why they so anxious, so on tip all the time when, you know, they, they walk up on these cars and these people who driving behind the steering wheel, they done been in traumatic situations. They done had their people killed by police and beat up and shit like that. You feel me? So they already nervous with butterflies in their stomachs just seeing the police car. And later on, they getting behind them and he walking up to them. You dig what I'm saying? And in the police mindset, he got to be on guard because he know this person is tra uh, traumatized. You dig what I'm saying? So now he ready to pull out the mag, the dude in the car. He most likely, because his situation was fucked up growing up or messed up, excuse my French, you dig what I'm saying? It was messed up growing up. And he, you know, he, he made some mistakes because he didn't know the right road to go down. So now his record is dirty and things like that. He don't have a driver record. He can't protect himself. He can't get CCWs. You know, he got ops out on the street, people who just hating on him for no reason or really making beef or whatever. You know, it's just all these different types of situations. So... He on guard, whether he ain't got no license in there, he got a pistol in there, he got drugs because he medicating himself to feel better, you know, to numb the pain and numb all the traumatic thoughts from going through his mind a thousand miles per minute. You dig what I'm saying? So this is everything that's going on on each side. It's a bunch of tensity. Plus, nobody is getting paid. You see what I'm saying? They, it's set up. The system is set up where... You, you getting paid pennies, crumbs. You dig what I'm saying? A lot of people, they say live in paycheck to paycheck, but it, not even that because a lot of people, they spend their money a week before they even get the paycheck because you got to wait two weeks in the hole to get your money at most jobs. You know, since COVID started, they started putting it at like a little week or so, you know, and I did see on um, the little Indeed app, you know, they got jobs now where it's so... Um, you know, you could get paid daily if you want. You know, they got these things now since COVID came out. You know, and that's a little gem for y'all. If y'all trying to work, you know, because I ain't got nothing against people who working and stuff like that. I understand you got to do something to get somewhere. You feel me? That's what a lot of people don't understand, hard work. You know, and I used to be one of the people who would sit back and, oh, man, you don't, you know, work ain't for me. Work on, woo, woo, woo. I mean, yeah. If you feel like you the black sheep and you feel like everybody always against you, you gonna feel like that. But you still have to understand that 
no type of success comes without hard work. So you still got to go through it to get to it. You know, even if you know that's not something you're supposed to be doing. And that's just real talk. A lot of people out here, there just be telling you like, oh, quit your job, go start your business and shit like that. But not really giving you the breakdown because they haven't did it themselves. Like a business, that's hard work. You know, it's a lot that goes into that. That's like a baby, you know what I'm saying? You damn near have to give up on yourself in order to support the business, you know, and keep it flourishing, keep it growing. You dig what I'm saying? And, um, yeah, it's been two years for me, man, the Elevation Movement. You know, I've been uh, running a business since 2020 of December, and it's it's been, a, it's been a ride, man. It's been fast, though. Time flies. But everything slowly coming together, you know what I'm saying? Slowly but for surely, that's just how my story happened to go. Everybody's story different. So if you do, if that's something you want to start, you never know. Three to six months, you could be taking off up a hundred, you know, a couple hundred thousand or something, man, six figures. But yeah, basically the story, okay, let's get back into it. So the story is, you know, um, they, you know, they, they ain't getting paid no money. So they already stressing because of that. They humans too. You know what I'm saying? They got emotions. They feel and shit like that too. Even though in the Bible would say at these times, a lot of people's hearts will be wax cold. Yeah, that's true. But people still are, uh, you know, sensational beings. So we have feelings. You dig what I'm saying? Whether a person cold hearted or not, they, believe me, they still feel something. Whether they try to numb it, whether whatever they numb it with, they, they feel something at some point. So with that being said, they taking all those, uh, you know, situations and things that's going on probably not as well as they like in their life or it's just going horrible in their life, whether it's with their kids, their wife or whatever, and now they bringing that on the job and they taking it out on these people who they know is going to be, um, whether they in a rage, if they get pulled over, they know these people are going to be on some type, it's going to be some type of tension there, whether they scared, whether they mad, whether they sad, whether whatever it is, is going to be some type of tension and you have to understand where energy go, energy flow. So, if you doing this all day, all day, year in, year out, and all you getting is negative energy, day in, day out, and then you gotta go home and try to balance that out with your family and try to be on some positive stuff and build them up and shit like that, you gonna be, you know, you gonna be on there being a gone crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of the people, a lot of these police officers do. They go crazy mentally. They snap. You dig what I'm saying? Because it's it's too much. You know, the world is is way too much. It's put too much on their shoulders. Now. They haven't figured out a plan. They haven't figured out a method, you know, in order to be able to to get out of those those uh, strongholds that they've been placed up under. You know, uh, going up under a stab establishment like that is definitely strict, and some strongholds that's gonna be placed upon you by your your superiors, your peers, everybody. You know what I'm saying? You gonna play strongholds on yourself unknowingly. Is that's just the type of stress it's gonna bring? But you know, that's another story, man. I ain't got nothing against nobody. Whatever you do uh, for your living and you feel like that's your calling, that's your passion, I salute you. You dig what I'm saying? It's something for everybody. I'm the type of person, like I said, I see with birds I view and I understand that nothing in this life um, happens for no reason. You know, everything happens for a reason so that way it can be another reason for something else to happen. You dig? If, that, if that's not too much, if that didn't go over your head, you know what I'm saying? Like, it takes everybody position means something. We need this in order to have that. You dig you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, it's your man's first blush, man. That's just my little perspective on this. And y'all police officers, y'all understand, too, like, you know, just as well as you feel like you should be getting, you know, living a better lifestyle and being able to relax and travel, take luxury trips and really enjoy yourself. You know, um, these same people that you're rolling up on on a daily basis want to do the same thing. You know, no matter what type of lifestyle they come from, everybody got dreams, everybody got goals, everybody got desires. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be, we got to start being more uh, cautious and unaware of that. You dig know what I'm saying? And it'll, it'll calm down a lot of this, the little bullshit that's going on out there. I'll get that y'all next time.